everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have a new foundation and I, you know, I was going to use it a few times and then I thought, no, I want to show it to everyone and let's find out together how much it works. And I have the time today to go ahead and do a first impression. The foundation, as you probably know by the title that I'm talking about, is the new YSL All Hours Full Coverage Matte Foundation. Let me tell you a little bit about it before I get into the first impression of it. It is a 58, am I blinding you with my glasses? I don't know, I won't look up. It is $58, it is 0.84 ounces, so it's not a full ounce. It is available in 22 shades, it has an SPF of 20. It is recommended for normal combo and oily skin. Dry skin was not listed on there. The claims are that it instantly blurs pores and fine lines. It provides uninterrupted flawless wear that looks and feels just as applied all day. The additional claims are that it won't cake, dry, flake, or fade. It's transfer proof, oil free, and it is non-pore clogging. It contains a blurring formula that instantly conceals and erases imperfection, pores, dullness, and unevenness. For additional protection, it resists fading, heat, humidity, dryness. It is infused with black tea antioxidant complex for an additional skin care that fights the signs of dullness and fatigue while protecting the skin from pollutions. All right, those are a heck of a lot of claims. Honestly, I don't even remember the last time I saw a foundation with all those claims that it instantly conceals the pores and the lines and that it lasts all day, you know, 24 hours. Alrighty, well, let's see. If all those claims are true, then the $58 for less than an ounce, in my opinion, is totally worth it. Plus, if all those claims are true, we'll be able to see these results immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it to half my face and that way we can compare the pores and lines on both sides. I'll finish it up and then I'm, I have to do a lot of running around. Now, as many of you know, I have normal skin, but I also live in Florida. I'll tell you what the temperature is right now. It is 90 degrees and humidity is 64%. I have to do a lot of running around and 64% humidity is a pretty high humidity. So let's get started. I'm going to bring you up closer so you can see. Okay, I, I think that you're close enough, enough now that you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Regardless of the foundation that I use, I always use a primer. Sometimes I use the Tarte, sometimes I use the Becca. It, you know, it, that's what I do. If a foundation is going to work for me, it's got to work with one of these primers that I use. Because, why? Because that's what I, because that's what I do. I'm looking at my viewfinder because I haven't bought up my mirror yet. Oh, uh, I looked to see what was the best way to apply this foundation. For a light coverage, it stated to use your fingertips. For a higher coverage, it says to use a brush. And for buildable coverage, it says to use a sponge. I'm going to use my sponge. Because the only thing that's on my face is the rest of my skincare and a lash. All right. Well, let's get to it. This is, it's a glass jar, bottle, jar. It's not a jar. It's a, bo it's a bottle. And it has a pump. And I'm going to take a few. I just took uh, two pumps. So I'll just do half my face. And it looks as if I need to add some more. I did read on the Sephora website, it did have almost five stars on it. There were a couple of reviews that stated that they had dry skin and that it was fine. But you know what? That's just the review from there, so who knows? All 
All right. I don't know. I still don't see it as full coverage as they're saying. Maybe I should do the other side of my face with a... I'll show you and then I'll do the other side of my face with a brush. I know that Mary always talks about a YSL that she really likes, but hers isn't full coverage. This one is brand new. I went to buy this. It was on the B.I.B. exclusives, the B.I.B. Rouge exclusives. Those of you that are B.I.B. Rouge, there is an area you go to gifts, and then from there you can follow another link, and it takes you to the exclusives for B.I.B. Rouge, as I just said 20 times. And this foundation was on there, and then the next day when I went to buy it, it, it had already moved to the regular page on on Sephora. All right, so here's the side with the foundation and here's the side without. You are, I'll be able to tell once I start editing and I have glasses on, but right now I can't tell. So, I don't know. It looks pretty even, but I don't know. I'll do the other side of my face with a brush. Can you imagine a foundation that lasts all day and, and blurs lines and imperfections and protects your skin? Don't you think that this side with the brush looks better than the side with the sponge? Am I just uh, seeing things? I'm going to add some more with the brush because that's definitely, it's covering better that way. What do you think? Could you see the pores? Could you see the lines? Have the lines disappeared? It, uh, it is matte, but you know what? It looks as if it's a natural finish. It doesn't seem to be you know, matte as drying looking matte. It looks more, uh, like it looks natural as, as far as I can tell. But again, I will know when I'm editing. All right, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'm going to do all of my running around. It is now, okay, I know this is New York, but I'm not in New York, I'm in Florida. All right, so just so you can see the time, it is 12.14. I'm going to come back and check back in with you probably, I don't know, when I get back home, I'll check in with you and I'll let you know what time it is. I wanted to see if I could take it like eight or ten hours and we'll see what it looks by the end of the day. All right, let me get on with it. I'll see you all later. I'm back. Let me show you the time. It is, could you see that? It's like 10.02. All right. I've had this foundation on since I think it was 12 o'clock and I have been to the post office, to the UPS store. I went to the mall. I had to drive around. I had to pick up some groceries. And I had to go downstairs. I walked a dog twice. And then while I was downstairs, I met with an old friend and she had me standing out in the sun for about 20 minutes that we were chatting. Well, she didn't have me. We were just chatting back and forth. So I have been in 90 degree weather. Let's see how this foundation wears out. Let me tell you, I have not retouched anything. The mascara is flaking. The eyeshadow is already wearing off. All I did was retouch some lipstick. That is all I did. I'm, I, don't, I don't know if I want to say what I think because it's way different what I see in a mirror than what you're seeing on camera. And I'll be able to see what you're seeing when I start editing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you up close so you can see what the foundation looks like after, what is it, 10 hours. All right, let me bring you up closer. All right, I think that you were about this distance when I first applied the foundation. I, I, I believe I took a picture when I cut the video off in this morning. 
I'm going to take another picture and hopefully I can put them side by side. Just please remember, I am not a photographer. I don't have any, any professional equipment. I've got a dinky little camera. That's all I've got. All right, so uh, what we're looking for is if it's cakey, if it's still covering the dark spots. Right. Let's look at the paper and see. It's supposed to be not caking, not drying, not flaking or fading. It's supposed to be transfer proof, oil proof, and non-pore clogging. It's supposed to be a blurring formula to, that conceals and erases imperfections. It uh, erases the pores, dullness, and unevenness. So let's check and see if it looks dry. How do the pores look? And we'll probably be able to see better when I add the picture side by side. So let's see, does it look cakey? Is it still doing full coverage? It, it feels nice, it just feels like skin actually, or you know what it feels like? It feels like, you know when you add a moisturizer on that soft feeling, that's what it feels like. It doesn't feel tacky at all. And I mean, I, I've been all over the place. And I know that I've probably put my hands on my face more than once. All right, let me zoom you back out. I have to get up and zoom it and sit down and zoom it again. Anyway, hopefully I'm at the same distance. All right, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this foundation. You know what I didn't tell you? I didn't tell you the shade that I purchased. And it is... Is it? Oh, it's B60 Amber. And I believe that this is a tan. That's what that is with neutral undertones. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Please let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear what you have to say after you see the pictures and after you have seen me close up and compared both pictures that I will hopefully I remembered to take a picture this morning after I shut the camera off. I think I did. So I will um, place them. If I have them, I'm going to place them on right now. Okay, let me know. Now that you've seen the pictures, let me know what you think. And if you think it has really held up for the 10 hours. It says it's a 24 hours and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to continue using it and seeing if I see any difference. But in the meantime, let me know your thoughts and if you want to see me trying it under any other conditions. And if you like it, let me know if this is something that you would consider purchasing. I would love to have your thoughts. That's why we're here. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending some time with me today. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. And don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.